You know, Molly, my heart is restless. Why? I got the letter, the letter from my doctor. He's changing his practice. You know, this health care law, initially it seemed like a noble cause, but what's really happening is people are losing their doctors, they're losing their insurance, and so something that maybe seemed like a good idea isn't working out so well. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, but, but the rumor isn't a rumor any longer when it happens to somebody that you know. So tell me more, because obviously this is happening to more and more people right now. Well, I love my doctor, and he had a practice of about 2,000 patients, and he's changing it to a health and wellness practice, and so instead of seeing 2,000 patients, he's only going to see 600. So you're saying 1,400 people in Colorado alone only because of one doctor changing his business. Now these people are going to be in waiting lines looking for new doctors. Exactly. Kim, this I'm sure is happening in other cities in the state and in all of the states around the country. I've been hearing this more and more. I also heard that over 300,000 people in Colorado alone have lost their insurance policies. So they're out there looking for new policies now. This law seems to have displaced a lot of people and made a lot of things harder for them rather than easier. You know, and it's what's amazing is our politicians did not read this law before they passed it. And there's something really wrong about that. And then the other thing that's just amazing to me is then they gave themselves and their staffers and their cronies a pass on this. So there's really two things that aren't so good on this whole thing. Yeah, well, you know, it'd be kind of nice to be one of those special groups that get a little special favor or waiver from this. But even if you're not a part of that group, you've got people that are waiting to find out if this law is going to apply to them or not. I know they're delaying mm -hmm. the dates, start dates on different parts of this law. I mean, how do you even know what to look forward to? Who's in charge here? In America, the people are supposed to be in charge. The government is supposed to work for the people, not the other way around. So we need to make sure that we are electing people that will represent us instead of trying to make rules over us. All right, so it sounds like we've got two options, Kim. We either break into the special elite political group and start getting our own carve-outs so that we don't have to be affected by this new health care law, or we start holding our politicians' feet to the fire and let them know that this law is not working for us and they're going to need to go back to the drawing boards. No, Molly, let's go with option B and let's hold our politicians' feet to the fire on this one. Sounds good.